Humpty Dumpty wants to share a book with us today called Lost and Found. This story is a book about a penguin and a little boy going on an adventure. Shall I read it and find out about what it's about? Once there was a boy who found a penguin at his door. There's a little penguin at the door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad and the boy thought it must be lost. There we go. Humpty's showing you the picture of the little penguin and he does look very sad, doesn't he? And he looks lost. I wonder why he's lost. Let's find out, shall we? So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. So there we are. Let's check in the lost and found. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away and he didn't know either. There's the little duck in the bath and he doesn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he wasn't sure how to. There he is at night time. And he's wondering how he can help the penguin, but he doesn't know how he's going to do it. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Together, the boy decided he and the penguin would row to the South Pole, so the boy took his rowboat out and tested it. He told stories to the penguins to help pass the time. They packed everything they could see and pushed the rowing boat out to sea. There they are, packing the boat up and then rowing it out to sea. Are you enjoying this story, Hunter? <gasps> they rowed south for many days and many nights. There was lots of time for stories and the penguin listened to every one, so the boy would always tell another. So there they are rowing in their boat and the penguin is listening to the stories that the little boy is telling him. I bet he's enjoying that. And they floated through good weather and bad. And when the waves were as big as mountains, they were a little bit scared. Oh, look at those big waves and the lightning there. Oh, wow, lots of beautiful pictures. Oh, and looks like they get to the North Pole. Then finally they came oh, to the South Pole and the boy was really, really happy. But the penguin said nothing and suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. Oh, look, Mr. Penguin's sad. I wonder what this little sign here says. Welcome to the South Pole. So it says, when you come here, we will look after you and be really friendly. Welcome, that's what that word means. The boy said goodbye and floated away. And when he looked back, the penguin was still there. It looked sadder than ever. Oh, look, Mr. Penguin's really sad that the little boy's gone away. I wonder why he's sad. I would feel sad too. What do you think, Humpty? It felt strange for the boy to be on his own. There was no point telling stories now because there was no one to listen. Instead, he just thought. And the more he thought, the more he realised he'd made a big mistake. The penguin hadn't been lost. It had just been lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and rowed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Oh, look, little boys. Oh, 
searching in the telescope to see where he could be. Well, sadly, the boy set off for home. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see. <gasps> That's right. He could see the penguin. The penguin's coming towards him in an upside down umbrella. And look what they do in the end. They're so pleased to see each other. Aren't they, Humpty? <gasps> Would you be pleased to see somebody that you'd lost and then found again? <gasps> well. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. Oh, and can you see the shadows under the boat of the big whales and the big fish underneath the boat? The little boys go home together. And that is the end of our story. If you would like to read that again, it's called Lost and Found. So... I'm not showing my face today because it's World Book Day week and I am one of the hidden readers. So you've got to guess who I might be with Humpty here. And I think Humpty really enjoyed our story today, didn't you, Humpty? Yes. And would you like to wave goodbye to the boys and girls? OK, thank you. Well done, Humpty. Are you tired now? Oh, yes, he's very tired. He wants to have a little sleep. OK, bye, boys and girls. And if you can have a little look on the website this week to find out who the reader was today, I wonder if you'll get it right. I bet you do. Bye for now.